back again with another reaction guys poopy is here hi poopy <laughs> so i got my son the poopster is in the building and um we're about to react. You can say something if you want. I know. I just don't feel I like know. it. I know. I just don't feel like it. That, that. So listen, we're about to react to a nukes top fives, top fives, top five video. And um, we're going to see what this joint hitting on, man. It's looking kind of gloomy out. And um, it's kind of setting the mood. So let's jump into this video. Do me a favor. I need y'all to get your snacks and your drinks. Head to the couch. Watch this with your boy. Don't forget, smash that subscribe and that thumbs up button. Please. Appreciate it. So I ain't saying nothing else. Let's get into this. Let's go. Away in the countryside of Chillicothe, Ohio, is the Schrader Road Tunnel. Built underneath a set of railroad tracks in 1927, the old road tunnel is said to be extremely haunted. The story goes that long ago a woman was carrying her baby while walking along the train tracks late at night. The two were hit by an oncoming train. It is said that her ghost and the ghost of her baby haunt the Schrader Road Tunnel. Many people who have traveled through the tunnel report that they have seen the ghostly figure of a woman holding her baby. Others report hearing odd, unexplained wails and moans. Because of this, locals started referring to the Schrader Tunnel by a very different and much creepier name, the Crybaby Tunnel. So, Levi Woodruff is intrigued by the spooky stories and sets out to explore the Crybaby Tunnel late one night. As you might imagine, it did not go well. So I've been down in here in a place called Crybaby's Tunnel. It's a, a place that's local around my area. And it's so he's by himself. Yeah. You think that's smart? No. I don't even go there in the first place. Perfect. That's what uh, couldn't have been said any better. Because that's uh, exactly... I wouldn't have been there. That's what I would have done. I wouldn't have been there. Yeah. Some people are crazy. But it's okay. It's, it's okay. I'm not here to judge nobody. You know what I mean? So... She says she got hit on the tracks with her baby or... Um, her body was dumped right there in the creek, creek down here. There's something dead right there. Bro, there's something dead right there. It's a dead deer. It's a dead deer. I've been out here forever trying to get stuff done. place is spooky. Is anybody out there? Yo, you hear the baby oh. crying. Hello? Oh, hell no. Hell no. Hell no. In the pitch black darkness of the tunnel with nothing but a... Hmm. So this is what happens when you go to places that you ain't supposed to go when you know the history of them and it's not good history. 
don't go and mess with things that are not meant to be woken up. I don't get it. I don't get it. A flashlight, Levi suddenly hears the disturbing cries of a baby. Familiar with the spooky stories about the tunnel, Levi makes a run for it. So could these cries belong to the spirit of the baby that tragically passed away at the creepy old railroad tunnel? And is the ghost of the baby's mother also inside, just waiting for someone to come in? Hell no. Hell no. The House of Light and Shadows. TikTok creator Anthony Yamada has dedicated his TikTok page to making videos about life in Japan and the available homes and real estate there. In one of his videos, Anthony is giving a tour. My bad, guys. If y'all hear, like, the sound, it's the AC. My bad. Through an affordable four-bedroom home in Fukuoka City, Japan, when this happens. Here's what $760 gets you in Fukuoka, Japan. Wow. Now, today we have a classic Japanese home, starting with a very nice tatami room. This house will run you a Yo, monthly rent of June on end. This four-bedroom home... Yo, uh, we gotta bring it back. This house will run you a like, classic Japanese home. Let me know in the $60 comments. gets you in Fukuoka, Japan. Now, today we have Yo. a classic Japanese home, starting with a very nice tatami room. This house will run you a monthly rent of. You seen this shadow run over there? Like, literally, bro. Now, now, this is me. If. You seen the shadow move there? It's different. Because now I'm thinking it's an actual person. Yeah. Because if it was something that just popped up, it would have just popped up. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I could be wrong. I mean, it could be 100% real. But me personally now seeing the shadow move across. Come on, bro. Because if I seen it, I know he's seen it. You understand? Mm -hmm. I know he's seen it. He had to see it. I mean, what do you think? You think it's real, fake? I don't, like, it could be real, but what it, would it be his reason for him faking it? Because most people have I reason. mean, yeah, I mean, if he, uh, I mean, it could have just been something that was cool. I don't know. Maybe, I mean, he's looking at the house, so that, yeah, he ain't, like, filming and looking for ghosts. Yeah. So, it could make sense, you know what I mean, so. June on end. This four bedroom home is in a wonderful location. Yeah, Three minute walk ghosts, away from so a supermarket, yeah. electronic store, and convenience stores. Did you see it? Well, Anthony didn't. But soon after he enters, a shadow can be seen it moving around too, and standing bro. behind a translucent Japanese style fast, wall. Yo. But when Anthony looks behind the wall, there's no one there. But. I'm so dumb. Bro, while I'm looking at the joint, I thought Mans was outside. I thought the ghost was outside. Bro, he cut the corner inside and he... Yo, yeah, that, that joint is real. That joint is real, yeah. Anthony didn't notice any of this. See, I thought he was Shopsy outside. Was quickly flooded uh. the comment section, wondering if the reasonable price of only 760 a month for a four-bedroom home in a large, popular city has anything to do with that. Some viewers even jokingly ask if the ghost is included with the house. Now, is this a Japanese ghost or not? It's and something. would you pay 760 it's a month bro. to live with one? Nah, I'll leave nah, that up to nah, you nah, to decide. Nah, nah. Reaper. TikTok user down. Jess is a certified nursing assistant. One night, she's working the late shift in the psychiatric unit at an old and allegedly haunted children's hospital in Maine. She spots something that sends a chill down her spine. Okay, there's nobody here, right? Nobody here. What is that? Because it is not me. This is me leaving, closing the door. What? Okay. That's weird. That's crazy. That's weird. And here comes the door back opening. But 
that's creepy. Yeah. Hi. A dark human-like figure can be seen standing in front of Jess in the hospital hallway mirror. But there's no one there. A TikTok commenter points out that she might be seeing the image of a reaper there to collect someone to take their soul to the other side. Jess confirms that, strangely, one of her patients actually did pass away the following day. It's worth mentioning that Nurse Jess has never posted any paranormal content on her TikTok and has only ever shared videos about her life and experiences working as a certified nursing assistant. So could this be a reaper caught on camera? You decide. Down That's below. Creepy. Crafter Moore Johnson from Huntington Beach, California is packing for a trip to sell her handmade goods at a Las Vegas trade show. Suddenly, she and her business partner hear something downright creepy coming from somewhere just below their feet. We're trying to deal with this. I have had not enough coffee to deal with this. Honestly, this is coming from the dream. Okay. That's uh, some creepy word. I'll push you down there. Of course you will. I'll push you smooth down there, yo. See what that is. Listen, hey, ma'am. Hey, I'm trying to teach you life I'm not tactics. investigating. I'm not going investigating for that. It's life tactics. That's not learn. your life tactic. You got to learn how to adapt to sounds and things like that. I don't know what that is. So though. me being the father that I am, Push you down, and I'm, I'm come. I'm gonna grab you. Like we are gonna make, like we are gonna have some ropes and stuff. If I'm gonna push you down, and I pull you up. Mm -mm. Come on, man. You not. You ain't fun, bro. It ain't fun to go down there and check. That's creepy, though. Why would you do it back, bro? What is the point of doing it back? What what is the point? Like yo, it ain't. It, let alone it's already creepy enough. You gonna do it back? So now what if it say, "Hey, you hear me? Then what you gonna do?" Oh, people crazy. This is hell. <laughs> Mind your business. I wouldn't even be moving. Is she moving in or out? Because she's she going. She's going to like a convention. Oh oh oh! oh sure. Laura like and her business things. partner hear creepy sounds and what can only be described. As Glad you pay attention a little bit. You, know, you got a little sun up there. The singing coming from the sewer drain. The time of this recording is at 5.45 in the morning, so it makes no sense that anyone would be down in the sewer that early, much less singing. That's creepy. Now, Mara is in no way claiming that she captured anything otherworldly. In fact, none of her videos on her TikTok page have anything to do with the paranormal at all. Mara simply posted this one creepy unexplained moment that she experienced. So. Just what is this? And who or what is down in the sewer singing at 5.45 in the morning? Mermaid. For now, this eerie capture it's remains unexplained. We need scary videos, so if you see something scary that you think would be perfect for the top five, send it to me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. A room with a view. Ever since they moved into their new apartment, Joey Chalupney and his family have been experiencing strange, unexplained activity. Their furniture and belongings seem to inexplicably move on their own. Their infant son's toys turn on and off at random, and they often hear the sound of doors and cabinets opening and closing on their own. So on this particular day, Joey suddenly hears something very odd coming from his son's bedroom. He is determined to capture evidence of the supernatural activity in the apartment, so he takes out his phone and begins to record. What he captures is truly chilling. So me and my wife have been living in this apartment for about six months now. For the past two weeks, some weird things have been happening um, in our son's room. So I wasn't going to record, but I, I actually I came here to feed the cats. We have two cats. Here. So I came over to feed them, and I, I noticed that 
in his room, my son's room back here, there's one of my cats, I can hear his toy being played. And it was not on before. It is playing right now. And I don't know why it's playing right now. Um, I didn't leave it on. But even if I did leave it on, like I'll turn it off. Even if I did turn it on, it wouldn't automatically play. You'd have to, even if I brush over the keys, it doesn't really go. So you'd have to really press the button and then it go. And it was not on and it turned on and I could hear it. And that's why I started recording. And now that I'm looking around, I just like, there's stuff knocked over. There's plants knocked over, there's fake plants knocked over. There's books on the ground. The wipes are on the floor. I don't know what is going on. And there is no one here. I am here by myself. There's nothing, nothing here. Do you see that? Am I insane? Am I insane? I someone just walked by the window and I will I will go out there and show you that no one is here. This door is locked. This is the door. I didn't see that. You seen it? Mm -mm. You're just like, this door is locked. Pretty sure they might There's back. nothing out here. Nothing out here. There's a closet door. This is also locked. I don't think we've ever opened that door. It's always been locked. Just the weirdest things are happening. Weirdest things are happening. An electronic toy turns on by itself, and as Joey looks around the room, a strange shadow can be seen uh, passing by the balcony faint. window. Joey shows that there's no one outside and that there's nowhere for anyone to hide. In fact, this window is on an enclosed balcony 12 feet off the ground. It would basically be impossible for anyone to climb up, walk by this window, and then just disappear by the time Joey rushed outside. Later that evening, Joey receives a motion notification from the nanny cam in his son's room. He checks the feed and is shocked by what he finds. If you look really closely, the rocking chair starts to move. It's in the corner. You can see it's very slight, it's very slight. But you can see the shadow kind of moving, it's rocking. On its own, there's no one there. Everyone is at my mom's house right now. Everyone's at my mom's house. And then the wipes fly off the dresser. And then that, the hamper, the baby's hamper falls over. Like what is going on? No one's there. What is happening? A rocking chair sitting in the corner of his son's bedroom begins to rock back and forth. So all I can say is it's time to pack up, move out. Don't know why he, he haven't done it already. Like, at least be in the process to look for something else. Because mm -hmm. that is very creepy, especially if you have a kid. You don't know what it could do to that kid. Even like you, you're scared, right? Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah, you scared. I'll I leave you there, though. Of course you will. Like, <laughs> something wrong with you. Yeah. <laughs> Forth by itself. See, I'm, the, I'm, I'm the dad that's, I'm scared of stuff like that. So I got to send you just to check it out and make sure it's good. But I ain't going to let that hurt you. Like if you go, oh, I'm going to run in there. But I'm going to be like, oh, what is it as I'm running? And you kind of like tell me what it is. You get, me, you, get that, you get a head start on it. That's how that works. It's called the head start. Almost as if someone is sitting in it. Then some baby wipes fly off the dresser and a hamper falls over onto the floor. Joey says that the family has already made plans to move to another apartment. And until then, they will be staying at his mother's house. Scary videos. Jason Barber from Salisbury, North Carolina comes home from work and he gets the unexpected scare of a lifetime. Wow. People, pay attention to your surroundings. Don't walk up on no porch with your head down. You look down and when you walk up them steps, you better look up. Cause you don't know what you might get. You you never know. Just be aware. <laughs> A big angry snake is hiding around the edges of Jason's front door and lunges out in an attempt to bite him. Luckily for Jason, the bite was a miss and the snake is actually a non-poisonous black rat snake. But something to be learned from this. 
If you walk up and your cat is just staring at the door and meowing for no reason, maybe take a closer look before you just head in. In another clip, a man and woman have a similar Jasmine, scary we're encounter. recording, we're recording. Jasmine, be quiet. couple pulls out an old step stool and is shocked to find a large snake hiding under a box right in front of it. Uh, why the dog they came make back a run for it with their puppy following. Dog, dog came back. Came back and got his toy. <laughs> Close behind, but the puppy is not gonna let the snake have his toy. So he just runs back in and yoinks it away. Snake or not, nothing is getting his favorite toy. Stingy dog. No Game changer. Nuke's top five viewer Christopher Duncan emailed us some creepy CCTV footage captured at a small church in rural Mississippi. The CCTV camera is recording the playroom of the church's quote youth group when something happens that no one at the church can explain. Oh, we saw this. Saw it. It's what? John, it's crazy. Are you watching the same? It's it's not. Been, so, no. when I first seen this video, I thought it was in someone's like house basement but now we know it's a church mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, but no, watch 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 on watch better so bad nobody listens to me there's ghosts in here nobody listens to me watch it if i have to go crazy and break <laughs> A pool stick on the floor of the church playroom can be seen rolling around, shaking, and vibrating all on its own before it just snaps right in half. Chris says that the kids in the room were so busy and loud that they didn't even notice the creepy event. But after playtime, church officials found the broken pool stick on the floor and went back to check the CCTV. Footage to find out just who did it. They were pretty shocked to see that the pool stick seemed to just break on its own. Chris says the church is known to be haunted and that there have been many other incidents of paranormal activity over the last 20 years. Wow. So could this be the work of an angry spirit or an aggressive entity? Somebody and why at a church? Stick. Let me know what you think. Strange noises from the toilet. This next video was posted to the Nukes Top 5 subreddit, and I really appreciate all my subreddit followers, so I'm just gonna repeat what someone on there wrote that I should say about this video. Reddy Zerminato caught something really odd on his home camera while pooping. So User Minato is actually a guy named Dustin, and he apparently has an extensive collection of bongs, but never mind that. Let's just analyze what Dustin heard while um, dropping the kids off at the pool. Wow. I've seen this before. I have. Really. Hello? A soft female voice can be heard calling out, Dustin? Says his name. Now Dustin is home alone, but he says the voice was so clear that he thought a stranger was standing right outside his bathroom door. Even creepier, Dustin. What would you do if you heard someone say your name that clear, but you know nobody's home? You scared? Yeah. I don't think you'd be scared until you notice, because you you might think somebody. Like, he, he did. He thought somebody came in the house. 
Yeah, I don't think so. That you too. might think that, yeah. And then when you go to look, you like ain't nobody here. Wasn't nobody here. Then you probably freak out. You might freak out though. Like, yeah. hey, who that? <laughs> okay. His two dogs seem to be anxiously looking around the living room, almost as if they can see something that we can't. So did Dustin capture, quote, something really odd on his home camera while pooping? And just how many bongs does one fellow need? Dustin, uh, you can answer these questions and more down in the comments. Hello? Melville Cemetery. A Nuke Stop 5 viewer and YouTuber who goes by the name Wishy reached out to us about a live stream from the allegedly haunted Melville Cemetery in Melville, New York. Wishy says that his friend Brian went out to broadcast a Ouija board session live from the Melville Cemetery. So. Whatever is going to happen, he sees or he hears, he asks for it. You don't bring a communication device to talk to the spirits. Because now you're opening up a portal. We go through this. We just said this. Come on, man. And why are you looking in the camera like that? You look crazy. But, yeah. Don't do that. Don't do what the guy's doing in the video. Please. Please. While his friends watched and talked to him on Discord. Now the Melville Cemetery is located on Sweet Hollow Road. I'm not gonna watch. That has Listen, I'm not gonna watch him trying to communicate. I'm gonna fast forward because I don't. Y'all, y'all know me. I don't watch that. Any tragic and ghostly legends attached to it? One such legend is that a school bus driver lost control and drove off the bridge crossing Sweet Hollow Road. All of the school children on the bus met a tragic fate. Another legend says that three boys took their own lives by hanging themselves from that very same Sweet Hollow Bridge. So it goes without saying that Sweet Hollow Road and the cemetery are said to be extremely haunted. Brian is on a Discord call with his friends, who you'll hear in the background, and he is streaming live as he decides to do a Ouija board session just outside the gate of the Melville Cemetery. Things start to go wrong, and what happens next? is truly terrifying. Bro. Under to me. Bro, I didn't even ask you. I left the keys over. I'm panicking, bro. Where the f are the keys? Brian is a little freaked out, but his friends keep telling him that he needs to go and say goodbye using the Ouija board. You see, in the paranormal community. Nah, 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 nah. <sighs> Bro. Listen. 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 My bad, y'all. I just don't. I don't watch people doing communication sessions up to spirits. This is me. This is me. No. Oh my f***ing god, bro. Hold up, what happened? I seen something moving. It's the board. Oh my f***ing god, bro. Bro. That was the board. The board went in. Yeah. I get chills, let me tell you. Um, I'm thinking that the reason that is is pulling that board in, because he opened the portal to communicate. So the only way he can get it, unless if it's an entry, but that's weird. I'm thinking it's pulling it so he won't won't be able to close it. Oh, get your phone. Oh. Yeah, they're getting it, bro. Oh my God, I saw that. We caught that on camera. I'm leaving, bro. Yo, 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 get the out of here. Get the out of here. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Get the out. Get the out. The Ouija board suddenly slides across the pavement to the other side of the locked gate, right into yeah. Melville Cemetery. Yeah. Brian starts to leave, but after everything that has happened, he again begins to worry that he didn't say goodbye after using the Ouija board. What I say? 
So, you know what I be talking Brian about. goes back again. He plans to jump the fence and retrieve the board. I'm jumping the fence, bro. I'm jumping the fence. Bro. Bro, Chris. Chris, look at the stream. Oh my God, bro. There's a big fire in there. There's a fire? There's a fire. Get out of there, run. Run, yo, get out of there. I'm not gonna get out of there. Bro. What is burning though? Close it. He got to, A bro. fire can be seen burning on the road inside the cemetery. He, he has to close that. He has to. If he don't. And though his friends advise him to just leave, Brian once again feels that he should definitely try to retrieve that board to say goodbye. It's in. You didn't see it? No. Bro, you had to do some. No, no, I, I wasn't on my phone. I was looking at Bro, the phone. Bro, oh, shit. Look, throw the fire, throw the fire. Is this the board? Don't do it. Literally a fire. Bro, I'm jumping. What if you took the board and burned it? I don't know. Bro. That's, that's crazy. crazy. Don't grab it. What if it's like a graveyard watch or something? No, it's not. Bro, I see it. I see it. Yo, it was the board. Bro. Bro. Oh, bro. No. I called it. No. I called it. I called it, yo. I called it. Listen, that John tried to stop him from closing out closing the door. This is why you don't play with stuff like this, son. I hope you, I'm being serious. Like, I know I joke and I play a lot. That stuff serious. You and your friends be like, oh, let's talk. Let's use a Ouija board. You say, nah, I'm good. And you leave. The whole house. Wherever you at, leave. It's the board. It's the board and the planchette. Like, you, you try to warn them. They don't want to listen. Oh, That's for them. No, with the planchette. Yeah. Don't get yours up. Get yours up. Oh, oh, my God. God. No, Bro, I'm not touching it. Say goodbye. Oh, say goodbye. Don't say goodbye. Oh my god. It's better than part. Oh my god. The board, the board is part. Oh, so I don't know the board. That was the board. Man, that she was said it wasn't going to touch you. So do I just say goodbye? Oh my god. You better. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Dragon, say goodbye. I did. Brian is finally able to say goodbye on the Ouija board. And he just gets out of there. But is it real? Or is it all just a very elaborate live stream? Now somebody could have pulled it in with a string. That is possible. It is. And set it on fire. That is possible. Hoax. I leave that up to you to decide. You can see even more of this scary live Ouija board session. Oh, yo, real talk. Why the fire look like it was further out? For only good. Look. You can see even more of this scary live Ouija board session over down. on the YouTube channel. Like, I'm Wishy. Push it, like, also goes Drawn right out. Down. Tattoo artist. Listen, that's why we, we pray. We talk to God. Because stuff like that, that ain't nothing to play with, man. It's different. We don't allow none of that negative stuff over here. They can keep it. Liz Cruz is working on a customer's tattoo in her home studio in Erie, Pennsylvania. Things suddenly take a very disturbing turn. Why we good? The table with Liz's still, tattoo. Yeah, why she still got the tattoo gun in her hand though? <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, uh, Supplies suddenly rolls away from uh, her the all guy she by ran itself. Out of the room, like, Liz and her customer are a bit freaked out, but try to remain calm. But then a chair lurches out from a table nearby, uh, uh, and the two have uh, had still about with enough. The hand, uh, they get up and just make a run for it. Tattoo artist Liz says that she has no idea what happened to them that day, but she believes that they might have experienced something, quote, far beyond the ordinary. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and even TikTok. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Well, there you have it, guys. A good old nuke special. You know what I mean? Hey, video was crazy. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. Listen, like I say, don't wake up spirits, man. Leave them alone. Let them rest. I know some ain't resting, but... They ain't bothering you or trying to communicate. Just go about your business. Listen, until next time. Oh, smash the like. Smash the subscribe. Follow your boy and tell everybody to watch him. I mean, so listen. Until next time, love, peace, and good vibes as always. And my, my special guest next time is going to be Poopy. Poopy. You're weird. Like you, my special guest, bro. Everybody like you, poopy. I'm not poopy. Sirs that poops a lot. Okay. <laughs> hey, let's go.